listeners and subscribers. Hope all is well. So make no mistake about it. When you hear those mainstream news media mouthpiece mantras... Uh, well, I'll try saying that three times fast, right? Mainstream news media mouthpiece mantra. When you hear these na- mainstream news media mouthpiece mantras, see, I can't do it. Uh, you know you're getting ready for something, okay? These mainstream news media mouthpiece pungentries, okay? They get ready. They they start telling you something. You hear something maybe two weeks ago. Oh yeah, I heard of that once. Then two weeks later, you start hearing more and more news stories. Then they have people on talking about the news story, and then all of a sudden you ha- you hear some action right within the realm of what you've been hearing for the past two or three weeks and that's because you've been primed baby they've been getting you ready for something okay and one thing that's very interesting something that and i bring this up and i reiterate it because this is something that's going to be a paradigm shift for people who don't it doesn't matter what you believe it doesn't matter and let me just preface this it doesn't matter what, what, what you believe here okay because people with more money than you more power than you who make the decisions they believe this stuff i'm talking about here so it doesn't matter what you believe so for example the u UFO topic. Do you think it matters what you believe on UFOs? Okay, or aliens, extraterrestrials, because oh, a UFO only means unidentified flying object. Yeah, we understand that, all right? We're talking about something outside of the human condition. Get over yourself. All right. If you don't believe in UFOs, what the hell does that matter? Because senators, right, are now being briefed on this. Congressmen are taking it seriously. The Pentagon, the Navy, okay, the mainstream news media mouthpiece mantras, okay, they're taking this stuff seriously. So what the hell does it matter if you don't? All right, because get ready for this. The stuff we've been seeing with engagement in the Middle East, there's always been doing, they've always been doing this esoteric obfuscation, okay? Every time we have engagement over there, the United States, the military, or some terrorist faction, which has been armed and equipped by the United States, goes in, they have these strategic operations, they go and usurp and destroy and everything in between the ancient artifacts and architectures and structures of the past and it's like why is this why are they destroying and obfuscating history well i'll tell you why because they're getting ready to debut a narrative and they want to make sure that anything contrary to that narrative or most things contrary to that narrative are gone that they're not going to be there uh, to remain contrary to it okay so for example and get this this is this goes back to warner von braun the father of our space program i've talked about it before that's why i said it's worth reiterating because we're seeing it now okay the international terrorist threat it's waning all right it, it, they've they've milked it for as much as they can we're moving on to the third world crazies all right third world crazies through through migration forced immigration all this stuff okay we already see in the united states those darn dirty you know uh migrants we got to do something about them you hear over there in europe i, I I told you with with Venezuela, Syria, Myanmar, all these different places, Lebanon, all these different areas where they're having a refugee crisis, migrant crisis. So now we're looking at the third world crazies where immigrants and refugees, they're being looked at as, oh gosh, you got to protect, you got to protect us wealthy nations from these immigrants because they're going to destroy us, even though it's the wealthy folk that have the uh, agendas poised to destroy the folks. Okay. But that's besides the point. We're going to see third world crazies. And what's the, what's the big deal with that? Because after we see the third world crazies, we're going to start to see the asteroids. We're going to start seeing the threats from space, the meteors, okay? And then eventually, uh, you know, space invaders got to eat you, okay? And, or space space scenario comes down, some, some beings from the sky, and now they're our saviors. They're going to come bring us clean technology, and they're going to just completely... Uh, resurface the infrastructure of our beliefs and our culture all right we'll do away with christianity we won't need that anymore because the aliens are here they're proving that you know christianity was false all along as well as every other belief so we'll just do away with anybody who believes that we'll cut their heads off and uh force this mark on them uh on the people who accept the way things go because that's that's the way that's the way we want it right I'm telling you, man, it doesn't matter what you believe. We've got some stuff coming up. The reason why I bring up Warner Bomb Braun is because he was the father of our space program. He said we were going to see a uh, communist threat. He said we we're going to see terrorists. He said we we're going to see third world crazies, then some kind of threat from space. Okay, likely first asteroids and then space invaders. He said it's all going to be a lie, that there, it's going to be uh, assisted, okay, aided by this agenda that, we've, that we're faced with here, that it's not going to be 100% organic and it's not going to be kosher that there's going to be elements that the enemy has their hand in this to help proliferate this and move this stuff along. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about 
dubious elements that uh, there's nefarious underpinnings to what otherwise would seem organic and kosher things that we think happen naturally uh nothing happens by accidents in politics okay um and that's really the same thing that can be said or applied to on the geopolitical scale very little happens by accident and a lot of this stuff whether we're talking about terrorism or, or not okay is aided and assisted by intelligence agencies around the world and there's just evidence for that so again it doesn't matter what you believe it's out there it's just a google search away all right i'm not here to convince you of anything i'm just here to tell you for what things really are all right and where the evidence and facts lead us and where they suggest things might be going and this is just one of them you may not be familiar with it but i'm telling you it's out there okay and here's the thing what we're hearing from these mainstream news media mouthpiece mantras now are starting to be ufos and asteroids right okay and now what we're hearing i told you you know senators are being briefed on ufos the navy's changing how they report on it the pentagon admits that they investigate it uh pilots are being interviewed on on mainstream news media now I, all the all the indicators all the signs are there this topic is being taken seriously and i think that's because we're getting ready uh for a paradigm shift here and i think that we're going to see elements of of intelligence agencies and governments factions of the deep state play at this i know it sounds incredible this stuff sounds fantastic all right um, basically we're talking about a false flag alien invasion all right and i know it sounds crazy but get ready to worship the fallen angels i, th I think kj created a great video i mean he's he's spot on with some of this stuff and a, a lot of the things he puts out there you know i'm right in line with it it's from the scariest movie ever okay the, the youtube channel go check it out um he covers this i mean you know the world of weird is basically what he covers and while you know i tangentially uh touch on esoteric subjects you know that's what his channel is dedicated towards and i make the point that a lot of this stuff is uh, it's interconnected okay it's, it's one big ball of wax from one thing to, to the next whether we're talking about secret societies or banking cartels or conspiracies government cover-ups ufos all right and that's what i'm talking about here this new world order agenda it's all tied into the same thing it's all one big ball of wax you can't throw none of this stuff out so what i'm saying is is that we're seeing something that is completely outside of most people's context completely uh goes goes over most people's radar because it's not something that people are really talking about because i think and i think that's done by design uh while we do have plenty of people out there in ufology and stuff and people looking into things like this it's not something that's necessarily mainstream it's not in the main vein of culture or society so it still remains pretty esoteric and i think that's by design because i think that the powers that be right those who stir the drink they don't want to bring this context out this scenario out unless it's in a way that they can control so when we're talking about aliens ets ufos psychic phenomena whatever it is i think that the government is jockeying to bring that out within the context of their narrative they're trying to debut it in a way that they can control how things evolve and how they unfold so that way they can still maintain their monopolies because i tell you once we talk about a subject like this we're talking about extraterrestrials basically alternative technology it doesn't really matter what beings we think they are whether they're angels demons or aliens from another planet we're talking about the introduction of alternative technology in a way that's being coaxed where we're still under the ruler's control okay um here's the thing i think that we're being conditioned to accept the eventual scenario of space invaders although i think that maybe initially they might be uh position to us as a threat right they they people might try to say oh this, they're a threat i think ultimately that these things are going to be our saviors that these that we're going to see the alien savior scenario